Hey, what's up everyone? I've got a game of some uh, TDM on Cory here, and I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2 lately just because, I don't know, I don't really like Black Ops that much. Um, but, I don't know, I started getting back into Modern Warfare 2. I've been playing it like the last week or two. Um, here I'm using the Scar with uh, Extended Max, which I think I just unlocked to get on this Prestige, and I forgot how good this was. Um, I don't know, I like you know what I have. Like, I like the Scar, but the clip's always so small, so I. I don't know, I just like having extended mags. Um, I usually run the silencer, but extended mags are pretty good, so, uh, yeah. I saw, I think I put out a video on this already with the, uh, prestige shop for, uh, Modern Warfare 3 they were talking about. And one thing I didn't mention, I saw Woody's Gamertag had a video out on it, and all the custom class slots, I forgot to say that, that's probably what everyone's gonna use their tokens on right when that thing comes out, cause I don't think you can use, you can use them until you prestige once, like, I don't think you get to use them at level 1, I would assume. I'm not completely sure, though. But probably since you'll get, like, the 4 tokens if you prestige in the other Call of Duty games, I would think I'm gonna spend, like, probably spend all 3 of them on extra custom class slots, and then one on the, uh, on the thing where you get to keep a perk. Just because I think that'll be pretty cool to have 8 custom class slots in Prestige 1. Um, so, I mean, that way you don't even have to give it a 10th Prestige. Just get, here I get, like, um, it starts out, I guess I'm in the middle of a pretty good kill streak here. Um, like I said, if I didn't have extended mags, I would have probably died here, but I'm just chilling behind this barrel, and this guy noob tubes me, but um, somehow I don't die. And I'm running uh, 3 5 8 kill streaks, just because I like having the UAV, so um, I run that, and I wasn't really running um, AC 130 or anything, just because it's not that good in TDM. Um, there's not that many people when it gets shot down. Even if it doesn't get shot down, you just don't get that many kills with it, so. Uh, Throwing the emergency airdrop because it's actually a kill less than the Pavlo, so I thought why not use it? Um, I don't think I get anything good in it this game, but um, yeah, yeah, that prestige shop I think I was talking about. Um, so yeah, I probably use the custom class slots. I don't know what's everyone else gonna do. Are you gonna use them or not? I think, like I said, having the eight custom class slots, if I use three of them at the start, it'll be pretty cool. And then the thing where you keep a perk, um. Cause you don't even have to get a 10th prestige. What I like is the only thing about prestige is it keeps the game interesting, but with 80 levels, I think it's gonna be kind of a pain to go that high. The one thing about Black Ops I liked about their thing, even though they had uh, 15 prestige levels, I like how it was only going up to 55, so you could get through a whole prestige in like 15 to 20 hours of playtime. I don't know how long it took, but um, yeah, I kind of like that. The one thing about Modern Warfare 2 is it did take way too long to go through all 70 levels. Um, I know it was quicker if you played like Crowns War or Search and Destroy, but I don't really like Search in this game. Oh, one other thing that'll be cool is, one of the reasons I don't like Search is because I hate how the kills build round to round. I think it's kind of stupid. Um, I liked it more in Call of Duty 4 where they reset every round, so, so you get a 3 kill streak in the first round and you don't die. If you get 3 kills in the next round, you're still going to get a UAV, you're not going to go up to your 6 kill streak, which... It's how I like it. I think having the UAVs every round, if you can get someone to do good, especially with Hardline, I think a lot of people will get them. It'll make the rounds go faster, because I hate when people camp and search. It's really annoying that with the uh, heartbeat sensors. I think those encourage camping, too. So, hopefully search will be a fun game type in uh, Modern Warfare 3, because that was probably one of my favorites in Call of Duty 4, but yeah, they kind of ruined it. Um, search and Black Ops sucked as well. Um, I don't know why, I just usually play TDM like 95% of the time, because I was uh, trying to play Ground War by myself in this game the other day, um, and unless you're in a party, it's super annoying just because everyone on the other team noob tubes, and oh, I saw they're going to let um, Scavenger replenish your Claymores in Modern Warfare 3, which, what's everyone think about that? Like, I think that's retarded. Um, I know they're not bringing um, One Man Army back, but after the... Um, I don't know how horrible the noob tubes were. Why would you ever let them replenish? I like how Black Ops basically, um, there you go by a noob tube, speaking of one. But Black Ops basically, yeah, they keep them in the game, but they make them pretty much useless, which is what I like. Um, I like how Black Ops has like the spawn delay and everything on the tubes. And I don't know, I think you think it's so dumb that they're gonna let explosives replenish. Um, I like getting Claymores replenished from Scavenger. It's really cheap though. Um, if they do that, I think they should make, um, What's the sit rep? I forget what it's called, but they should make sit rep a first perk so you can have sit rep and ninja pro. I think that'll be cool, even though they're not gonna do that. That's how they had it in Call of Duty 4, but um, yeah, it's gonna be super dumb that they're doing that. Oh, and I saw Battlefield 3 came out today or tomorrow, depending on when I upload this, but um, 
Yeah, it came out, and I have, like, yet to see barely any YouTube videos on it. I think Hutch put one out, but that game just doesn't look that interesting to me. Um, I see the appeal of it and stuff, because I played it, and it was fun if you're playing with people and all that, but I think the rounds are just way too long, and I like the fast pace of Call of Duty. Um, I much prefer that to, like, the camping. But we're not camping, we just like the slow play style. Like, I think the TDMs take forever in those games, so, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, here I'm running the scavengers, I think, or, uh, not scavenger, claymores, and, um, I love using those because I can pretty much watch my back. Um, I put one in front of me, and usually one behind me, and then I'll just, like, guard off an area, get a couple kills, and then move spots a little bit. Um, here I get on a little kill streak again, um, and then I die. My video is, like, lagging for some reason, so, um, it's kind of hard for me to watch it. Um,. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about Modern Warfare 3. I think that comes out in like 15 days, which will be cool, just because there's no really good games to play. Uh, I saw Gears of War 3 is going to do DLC already, which I'm not sure if it's map packs, but they're going to add on to the story. So, um, I mean, I think they already made it before the uh, game was released, which is annoying that they can't just include it in the game if they release it as DLC, but I don't know, I might buy the story DLC just because um, I think the story in Gears of War is always good. But uh, gameplay's over, final score is 25 and 5. Alright, peace.